Hi guys and welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is May and today I wanted to get into a review, actually a one year review on a bag that I drive you guys crazy whether it's on here or whether it's on Instagram and that is my Louis Vuitton Speedy V25 in the Damier brand print. All right, so to get right into it, I did get this cutie back last year in June 2021, and it was when Louis Vuitton was having a moment with canvas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like canvas pieces are becoming a little bit more available on their websites, and even when you go into the store. Yes, I do think that there's still some silhouettes of handbags that you do have a little bit harder time coming across, but even then, you find them a little bit better than I feel like last year. I don't know if it's because we're finally moving on from the pandemic or if they just realized that canvas is something that all of us handbag lovers will always go for. So as I mentioned, I was able to add her last year in June and it was actually for my birthday. My sister-in-law was the one that found it in the store and called me and told me, hey, they have one. And I called the store and was like, please hold it, I'm on my way and I was able to get it right then and there. So really quick, I wanted to do a little bit of a tour on this bag in case you're interested in adding it to your collection. Now, as I mentioned, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier 25 in the Damier Ben print. Now the 25 is basically the length of the bottom. So Speedies are known to have 25, 30, 35. I think the 40 is discontinued. And then once you get into the 45, those are your key balls. So like your travel pieces, but it is a 25 centimeter length in the bottom. And this is a coated canvas, so it's very durable. It also has the treated leather in both the handles and the bandolier options on the side. Since it is bandolier, this one here does come with a detachable adjustable strap. So this is the strap that it does come with once again with that treated leather. And then it is a strap of three pieces basically. So you can go ahead and adjust the three all together or remove this centerpiece and just use the other two and make it a little bit of a shorter shoulder or crossbody option if you wanted to. Now inside it does offer a beautiful red lining and then it does have a side pocket here with a zipper. Now I don't know when it was that they introduced the zipper to the side pocket but the speedies before didn't have the zipper and personally i think i preferred it without the zipper but it doesn't bother me i always keep it open anyways and then on the other side you do have a small d ring here which a lot of people say they use to like attach their clay or their keys i've personally have never touched that d ring <laughs> so it does no difference for me and then mine does not have a date code tag after march of last year so march 2021 they were no longer going to release the date code tags in the bags. What they were doing was they were going to go ahead and insert a microchip within the lining. So this one is already one of those. It does have on the side here, which my 35 does as well. It shows you the number, which I think it's so funny, but it does show you the number of the bag. So it'll say 25. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that. I'll try to do a close up for you but that's the only thing that pretty much remained the same as well. Now, one thing I did want to point out is that this cute little luggage tag does not come with the bag, even though I really think it should. Let me know down below if you think so too. I mean, the speedies are technically supposed to be like travel pieces. I know that these are handbags, but it would be so cute if they were just sell the tag with the bag as well. I feel like you can add your initials here or you can hot stamp something cute on it. And I just really think it gives the little like luggage vibe to the bag itself. All right, so let's get into the review. As I said, I've had this bag for a year and if you've been following me both here on YouTube or on Instagram, you know that I've worn this bag nonstop. When I first got it, I think I wore it for over a month straight. I've taken it with me to a bunch of trips that we've been to for a couple of weeks at a time. I use it top handle, I use it crossbody, I use it on my shoulder, I use it in all the options that I could possibly think of using it as. So I felt like it was a good time for me to dive in and give you guys a really good in-depth review about the bag, about how it's worn, if I still recommend it, if I feel like it is an it bag. I did do a video in regards to that, so I'll make sure to link it down below for you to check out on this cutie here. The first thing I wanna get into are the cons. 
Let's get the negative out of the way and then we'll end it with a bang at the end. Now, the main wear that I can point out on this bag is the hardware. I'm gonna insert close-ups, but the hardware on this bag, you guys, looks like it's definitely seen better days. There's a ton of chipping on these D-rings here on the side. I'm assuming it has to do with the rubbing on the clasps from the bandolier. But then I also think it's the funniest thing because as I'll show you, the D-rings are super tarnished. But then you'll see that the lobster clasps have absolutely no wear to them. So I just find that so interesting. It is very known that people do say that throughout the speedies they use different hardwares. And I totally see how that can be a little bit frustrating. Especially if you use the bag a lot, you start seeing the wear a lot sooner. So definitely as well on the teeth opening here. Now... Okay, so as I was saying, I got a call from a friend and totally got carried away. I literally spoke to her for like 35 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, so the these, I'm not too sure what the name is, but these little D-rings or square rings here don't show as much tarnishing as the side ones or as the zipper teeth as well. I feel like those have held up a little bit better. And then the little um, Louis Vuitton studs here on the padded part also the wear is a lot less there as well so i knew getting into the speedy there was going to be wear on the hardware i had heard about it before i also have my 35 which i'll compare in a moment that has shown a little bit of wear and that one has been with me for 10 years but i feel like since the 35 is a classic and this one is the bandolier the wear on these d-rings are really just mind-blowing it's it's really surprising how much wear it does have there so that's the only real con that i can point out of the bag i'm obsessed with this size i feel it's a great overall everyday any style kind of size the speedies are known to be a black hole so you can fit so much you can fit a cardigan a water bottle a nice um book a notebook a pouch i mean it's never ending the amount of things that you can fit and obviously i have the 25 so that says a lot for the other sizes that they offer as well all right so now getting into wear and tear of the canvas and the leather as i said this is the damier band print and it does offer a coated leather option on their handles it's not an option it just comes with the damier band as so and I personally think if you are considering a Speedy and it's gonna be like your go-to bag, whether it's gonna be a work bag, whether it's gonna be a travel bag, an everyday bag, that you really do think about the canvas option that you choose. We know that the Monogram and the Damier Azure come in the Vachetta, but that is a raw leather basically. So it'll patina over time. It'll gain that beautiful honey color that some love and some really hate. So I love the Damier Ben option for that reason because you don't have to worry about any of the leather changing over time. And the treated leather for me is just so durable. I mean, as I said, I've used this bag so much and there's really no wear whatsoever. The glazing is in excellent, like new condition. I did see as I was getting ready to film this video that there is a little chipping on the piping here. I'm going to do a close-up as well, but just wanted to show you. That's probably just my fault. It might have bumped into something and then chipped a little bit of the leather there. Doesn't bother me. As I said, I buy my bags to use them, and if they do get a little bit of wear, it's only normal. Obviously, I don't throw them around and not care, but, you know, a little wear here or there, it's totally fine. Aside from that, there is nothing else. The corners are so good. There's no chipping or cracking or anything in the canvas. I'm very happy that this bag has held up as well as it has. As I mentioned, my 35, let me bring her. So here she is, and this is a 10-year-old baby. This was my first Louis Vuitton bag back in 2012. My husband gifted it to me for our one-year wedding anniversary. And this bag is the perfect example of how well Demi Urban can hold over the years. I used this bag non-stop when I got it. It was my only luxury bag. I took it to work. I wore it on the weekends. Even if I was carrying two things inside, I was carrying this bag. I was so proud and so excited to finally have her in my life. So. 
I definitely used her. As of now, I lean more towards carrying her for more like either a travel personal item option. I did do that on one trip that we took last year. Or if I do have to carry a little bit more, then I consider using her. But for the most part, I haven't used her in a very long time. Okay, and then something else that I wanted to share with you guys that also had wear was the tip of one of the leather straps. As I said, this might have been my fault. I don't specifically think that this is part of wear of just the handbag in general and having it for a certain period of time. I think I might have either rubbed on a wall or something like that because as you can see this piece of leather right here like it kind of chipped off a little bit of the leather itself. It doesn't bother me but I just wanted to point it out that that is another part of the bag that has a little bit of wear and the rest of the leather straps are seriously like in new condition. Also a little bit more tarnishing on these clasps. That as well has some wear that is just tarnishing over time. And then we go into these lobster clasps, which look like they have literally just come out of the boutique. So this really just blows my mind how I mentioned one part of the bag can show so much tarnishing and then another piece of the hardware can be brand new. But as it is known out there, I just think it's that they use probably different pieces. Or if you have dove deeper into researching why it is that some pieces do tarnish more than others, let us know in the comment section down below. All right, now really quick, I wanted to show you my 35 and my 25 side by side. I do have a comparison video on both of these when I first got the 25. So I'll make sure to link that down below for you. That one goes more in depth about the differences and the similarities of both. But the main thing that I wanted to share with you guys is how well the canvas has held up. This one, like I said, is 10 years. This one is one year, but this canvas looks exactly like this one. Now I have heard that the canvas has changed over the years and to be completely honest with you, as I feel on both of these, I don't notice any difference. And even on the wear, I haven't seen a lot of change on the wear of this canvas from my Speedy V25, which is my newest edition. So I really just think it's the way that you take care of your bags and how you use them. I love just getting a handbag and using it. Obviously, I do take care of it. I just don't throw it on the floor or just bang it around. I do take care of it and I feel like that shows on my handbags. But at the same time, I do carry them and enjoy using them as they are. I hope that makes sense. And for that reason, I feel like if the canvas were to have any significant wear, it would definitely show. But as you can see, I mean, it it looks pretty much brand new. And that's one of the main reasons why I feel like Damier Ben is such a good canvas to go with, especially if it's gonna be a bag that you're often gonna be using. Now let's get into the $1 million question, and that is if I would still recommend this bag. And the answer, you guys, is yes. It's yes, it's always gonna be yes, and it will never change from that. This bag is so fantastic. I can choose a million words to describe it, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I feel like it is a great style for anybody. And the fact that you can wear it and use it in so many different ways, I think that just adds so much more to the bag itself. You know, if you're somebody sporty, you can rock it crossbody. If you needed to use it for the office, you can do the shorter handle and throw it over your shoulder. If you're going out to a wedding, which I have used it for, you can use a top handle. So I just think it's a bag that no matter what the occasion is, you can incorporate it with. Ideally, I would say to go with the Damier Ben. I feel like the Damier Ben print is the one that can be easily dressed up or down. And then aside from that, the wear itself for the Damier Ben is gonna show so much less than let's say a monogram or a Damier Azure piece. So that's it, you guys. That is my one year review. I try to keep it simple. As I said, I have other in-depth kind of like what's in my bag comparison videos in regards to this one. So I didn't wanna dive too much into that but just really share with you, one, the wear that it's accumulated over time, and two, the pros and cons that I just feel the bag has overall. I still feel like this is one of the most classic pieces that Louis Vuitton will ever have. If I do have to recommend one bag from the fashion house itself, it would be the Speedy B25 in this size, in this print, just because I feel like it can be incorporated into so many different lifestyles. The only thing that if you are gonna use it for work, obviously if you need to carry a laptop, then you wouldn't be able to fit it in here. 
But aside from that, you can fit everything else that you need. I can most probably guarantee that. So that is the reason why I choose to recommend this particular size. So I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know, do you have the Speedy? Have you ever had a Speedy, whether it's a classic or a bandolier? What are your thoughts about the Speedy? Do you think that it's like, oh my God, it's so played out? Or do you feel like it's a classic and it will forever stand that title? I love having conversations with you guys in the comment section down below. So make sure to let me know what are your thoughts behind this cutie. I will link one of my other speedy comparison videos up here for you guys to check out. But as always, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye everyone.